Welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Illustrator CS5. I'm going to be showing you how to make a clipping mask, okay? First off, we need to explain what a clipping mask is. A clipping mask is a way to take two different objects, images, shapes, whatever it may be, and put them together and then only allow certain parts of those images or objects to be visible, okay? So I'm going to show you now how to create a clipping mask within Adobe Illustrator. As you see here, I have four different shapes. I have a circle, a little rounded rectangle, a polygon, and a star shape, okay? I'm going to be working with the circle and the rounded rectangle to begin with. Let's go ahead and drag the circle over right here it is behind the rounded rectangle what you need to understand is this the object that is on top will always be the one that is visible when you make the mask so when I select both of these objects to make the mask I need to select both objects and I need to go to object and I need to go to clipping mask and then make okay so that is once again you go to object clipping mask make once I do that I only see the green circle that was on top of the blue rounded rectangle. Okay? The only part of that circle that I see is what was touching the rounded rectangle. That is how a clipping mask works, okay? Once I get that clipping mask done, I can then click and drag and put it wherever I may want it, and I can, you know, I can do a whole lot of different things. One thing I would recommend doing is go ahead and add your strokes before you make your clipping mask because if you do not you will end up by going up here and adding a stroke and then it will put a stroke on this rectangle but if that's what you want then you go ahead and do that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that now okay so that's how we made a clipping mask there I'm gonna show you one more time I got the polygon and the star down here okay the red polygon is behind the orange star okay I'm gonna select both of these oh I'm gonna select both of these objects I will then go to object Object. I will then go to clipping mask and then make once I make the clipping mask all that is left is this weird shape here uh, you have a little red pointy thing here that we created with that clipping mask okay and then you can even go over here and you know adjust them the way you want them move them around the screen okay and remember guys in order to make a clipping mask okay you need to understand that the object that is in front will be the object that is visible after you make the clipping mask okay have to understand that uh, so guys again this has been another tech guru video this was an updated version of a previous previous video I made I wanted to explain it a little better I had some questions about uh, which object will be visible if it's on top if it's on bottom if you do have any questions put them in the comment box below don't forget to share like and subscribe to my content it really does help me out and I will see you guys next time